Jeff. And we have two daughters, Violet and Emma. Violet's 11 and Emma turned seven not that long ago. The two girls are opposites. Violet's the classic big sister. She's a warrior. She worries about Emma. And Emma is just a wild free spirit. You want to do it or don't want me to do it? Me. Alright. Three. Three eggs. Are you ready? Yeah, like three eggs. Wait, wait, I'm not allowed to eat eggs though. I know, that's why I keep confessing. Oh. I first had a feeling that Emma had allergies, food allergies, when she was about six weeks old. She started getting these just weeping, weeping red sores on her face and on her body. I mean, it was, I'd never seen anything like this. It was just so itchy that she would scratch herself bloody. She was always covered in scratches and scabs. I took her to the allergist and um, you know she was so little and she had to take off her shirt and the allergist pricked her with all these different allergens and her back, her whole entire back, every little prick mark was this big red inflamed circle. There's a scale for allergies zero to six. So she is a six for eggs, a five for dairy, um, but she's also allergic to all nuts, all seeds, all fish, all shellfish, all beans. She's so allergic to cows that she's also allergic to beef. She's allergic to um, several fruits. Emma is allergic to every major allergen except wheat. For a long time, I never even dared make pancakes for Emma. I always have to prepare Emma's first so that the the frying pan is not contaminated with Violet's ingredients. But um, I'll make a bowl of pancake mix and I've got um, something called egg replacer. It's just a powder that I put into the pancake mix. I mix it in. Instead of cow's milk, we put rice milk in Emma's meals. So um, when I mix this together and put lots of chocolate chips inside, I can make her pancakes and they look like pancakes and they taste really good. It's true that knowledge is power. So as soon as I understood what I had to do and talked about it with her doctor, it meant starting from scratch. And it meant that every time I let Emma put anything into her mouth, I had to know every single ingredient that was in that food. Keeping Emma safe when she's not in my care has been a process as well. It's been an educational process. In school, I pack her lunchbox in the morning. So when she's in school, um, her teachers know, her friends are really aware, she's really aware that she needs to eat what's in her lunchbox whenever Emma is invited to a birthday party. We learned a long time ago that I make her a special kind of pizza. So when all the kids have pizza, she has it too. And I always make her her own cupcake. And when the cake comes out, she's got cake as well. And it's just something that we've all gotten used to and everybody expects it. And, you know, the birthday mom will say, okay, do you have Emma's food? And, you know, and it's fine. And it's all very normalized and no one thinks it's strange. Um, she's on the EpiPen Junior because of her weight. Every EpiPen pack comes with a, a pair of EpiPens. So that if you're driving somewhere to the hospital and you give your child one dose and the 10 minutes is up, you have another dose to give you time to get to medical care. It is this feeling of walking on a tightrope sometimes because there's so many things all around her all the time. And I try not to focus on that part of it too much, but it's really scary. Kids in the lunchroom all have milk. If the milk spills on her, she reacts to that. I just feel like um, as Emma walks through her life, there are just so many more trapdoors that she can fall through, and it's scary. You know, a lot of times people will say to me, oh, you know, I can't believe you have to deal with that, it's so hard. And all I can think about is, Emma doesn't have a million other things that Emma could have. You know, she has food allergies, there's a chance that she could grow out of them. With every challenge that comes along to you in your life, if you're open to it, you can see the beautiful things that come from it as well, and the things that you can learn. So that's been really in play in our lives with Emma.